so what we have here is a black bean sandwich on sweet potato um, biscuits with a drizzle of mustard sauce and some spring leafy greens. So I'm gonna try this. I'll let you know how it goes when I do the taste test. Have a great day, Red, Black, Green, and Green. Red, Black, Green, and Vegan. So I'm gonna show you a Red, Black, Green, and Vegan for real, for real dish. And what we have here is a black bean sandwich. Yes, graced with a sweet potato biscuit, stuffed with black beans and black rice. Very black, right? And then surrounded by some spring salad greens and some baby bell pepper. So, yeah, it looks pretty good, right? I'm really liking this combination of black beans and black rice and a little bit of phonio inside and it works really well with my homemade vegan sweet potato biscuit if you go back a few days I showed those to you I made them from scratch without a recipe you know I'm really inspired by the sisters in Africa who make all kinds of beautiful fancy dresses without a pattern so if they have that kind of intellect Surely we have the intellect to prepare our food without a recipe. Have a beautiful day, you guys. And by the way, this is your last chance to join us on our vegan run to Egypt, ancient Kemet. Yes, so if you want to get in, you better speak up now or forever hold your peace. Well, at least until next year. Peace. this uh, sandwich on sprouted bread with veginase, sprouts, tomatoes, and collard greens. Yes, you don't know about the collard green sandwich? <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> yeah, you know, after you're plant-based for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, you really have to get outside the box with it. And the burger, although I do enjoy them, and I showed you a couple yesterday, or the day before. Um, you know, I'm just not stuck on it. You can have a sandwich and made out of greens. These greens were gently sauteed with some red onions and some grapeseed oil. Alright, so I'm getting ready to throw it out. I hope you are too. Peace. <music> black green and vegan here we go with the sliced baby bok choy pan fried with organic coconut aminos so the next thing is to taste them I garnished them with sesame seeds I couldn't find my black sesame seeds but black sesame seeds would really make it pop so if you do this get some black sesame seeds. You can also use a little bit of black pepper. But again, I don't want to change the flavor too much. All right, baby bok choy. Since you guys were so startled by the collard green sandwich, I decided to make a bok choy sandwich. And the bok choy sandwich has sprouts, tomatoes, avocados, and bok choy. So I'll let you know how it goes. Here are the results to my bok choy sandwich, bok choy avocado, tomato sprouts, and ve veginese sandwich. Uh, if I was to compare it to the collard green sandwich, I like the collard green sandwich better. 
because I think the collard greens have more flavor. That said, the bok choy has more density, so I do like that quality, but um, I like the collard green sandwich better. Anyway, we're going to keep working with these green sandwiches and see what we can come up with. Hey Red, Black, Green, and Vegan, it's Sheba. My mom asked me to make a quick video of what I'm eating tonight, what I'm cooking tonight, so here goes. I'm making vegan pulled mushroom tacos. Honestly, they're completely delicious and I don't even like mushrooms. You start off, this is the time consuming part of the dish, is just kind of cutting the mushrooms. Other than that, everything is super quick, super fast. Um, you need to use king oyster mushrooms, but I only had oyster mushrooms, so that's what I used. You take the top of the mushroom, the brown part, you slice it into small strips like so, and then you use a fork and you take the stems and you use the fork to pull the stems apart and they sort of turn into this kind of meaty consistency. Um, again, I hate mushrooms, but I think these are delicious. And then here's what I'm gonna use really quickly uh, to fry, fry's not the right word, but to cook the mushrooms in. I made a few substitutes that I don't normally use. Um, I'm out of chili paste. You could also use adobo paste. So I'm gonna use the red curry paste that I've got in the fridge tonight. Also chose to use tamari instead of regular soy sauce tonight. And I figured I'd mix it up white pepper instead of black. All right, I'll keep you updated. Okay, so we started out by frying the spices. Cooked the onion first for about 10 minutes and then added garlic for about two minutes. Then a tablespoon, actually a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of coriander. Add them to the pan, let them fry with the onion and garlic. A teaspoon, after a minute of that, a teaspoon of tomato paste and a teaspoon of your red curry paste and then add the mushrooms and mix the mushrooms in with everything that's already in the pan. After I'm done mixing in the mushrooms, I'll add about two tablespoons of my soy sauce or tamari sauce, a little bit of water, a tablespoon of maple syrup, and let the mushrooms cook down a little bit. Once the mushrooms have cooked down, I'll bake them and then I'll prep my tacos. Can you please tell me what we have on this beautiful dish here? Tacos. Can you give us some description, Chef Shiva? Refried beans, fajita vegetables, zucchini, bell peppers, onions, guacamole, cashew cheese, and fresh tomatoes. That's it. Did you make the cashew cheese or it was purchased? Siete Foods from Whole Foods. Okay. Thank you very much, Chef Sheba. Hope to see your amazing presentation soon. Mm -hmm.